Okay, let's uh, have a look at uh, PD Pro 5. Uh, one of the new features is frame your art, uh, frame your work, frame your artwork. All right, now before we do that, we need some artwork. So let's just go and grab uh, a picture, a JPEG. In fact, instead of opening it, what we'll do is we'll use the new batch browser or the general file converter. The general file converter is a nice little facility to hold an image kind of ready to get it into PD Pro, but it's not quite there yet. So essentially, you go to the file menu and you select open or the batch browser. In this case, we'll use open and we make sure the image is of the type we're looking for, which is JPEG in this case. Kind of pretty. In fact, you know, this is a standard Windows navigation tool, so you can go look at it in thumbnail mode. And there it is. Let's grab that. It is not in dog waffle. It is now in the general file converter because that's what I used to open it. And while it is in the final, uh, in the general file converter, I can still do a couple of things to it. Like I can resize it, I can make it smaller, bigger, smooth it, do a sort, a couple of uh, s um, interpolation choices here, uh, or I can just leave it the way it is and send it over. That's really the ultimate goal here: is to send it, communicate with PD Pro, so you can. S you can export it to PD. This is from the point of view of the general file converter. Imagine, uh, remember this here, we are in the GFC, the general file converter. And so from here, we can send it to PD Pro. And once we do that, it is now in PD Pro. Well, in a second or two, it is now in PD Pro. And we can go and switch over to PD Pro. Now, the general file converter still has a copy of it. So, you know, if we mess it up here, if we do too many things to it that are perhaps uh, going beyond the level of undos uh, or we don't want to click uh, undo uh, 10,000 times. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll just alt tab to go back to the general file converter and just grab it from there again. Export it to PD. Okay, So that's one thing you can do and of course while it's in PD you can also create a stored image. Uh, where is it right here store image that's just a, a snapshot copy in pd pro okay but the general file converter is its own little standalone program and it happens to have the ability to communicate like a plugin to pd pro uh, it can also communicate with the clipboard so you can transfer images to and from the clipboard with the general file converter and from there send it over to dog waffle there's a couple of other things you can do with it one of them is to call for the batch browser, the new batch browser, which has the ability of showing images in other formats as well, including Targa. So, uh, you know, if, if the version of Windows that you have doesn't know what a TGA file is, doesn't know how to produce a thumbnail for it, uh, don't let that stop you. You can now use the batch browser to navigate through that. Anyway, um, here we go. We got this nice tool. And next section, we'll actually start doing something with this, and that is to create a frame, a nice little wooden frame around it.